kitchen. Hi. Okay, listen, today is a day where I'm gonna attempt to film some things. It's Friday, this is when my mom has driven, so we're gonna try to get some stuff done. But I just wanted to show you how the day began. So I had a podcast interview this morning at nine with uh, this awesome host named Jake on a podcast called Queer by Birth and Proud by Choice, and it was really, really fun. However, as I was getting set up for the podcast, I was trying to find my headphones, get ready, and I was like, Allison, my partner, can you please bring me breakfast? And she was like, sure, because she's amazing. She brought me some toast, but she neglected to tell me that she had put the toast on my chair. Um, hi. <laughs> Hello. My name is Jam Bum now. I sat down on the hot toast and I was like, am I peeing myself? Like, what is this? No, I just sat down on my jam and yes, I'm gonna still eat the toast. What a way to start the day. The beginning to any successful day, for me, begins with coffee. Let me show you my coffee. It says, calm the f down. <laughs> but the thing is with my coffee, I tend to not drink it very quickly. So I have to uh, heat it up every 20 minutes. How do I carry my camera and my coffee and my toast downstairs? There we go. Okay, let's go downstairs and heat up the coffee. Boo! Do 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 do. Okay, let's go do our hair. Banana clip time. These things are great. Just learn about them from my sister. I mean, I had them a lot in the '90s and stuff, but they've just recently come back into my life. So here we are. Squiddly dee, squiddly dee, squiddly dee. I mean, yes. As a one-handed human, yes, please. Say yes to the banana clip. Now I have to decide, do I film in the jam bum outfit? I think I'm gonna just stay in this cause like, I really like this jumper. It's comfortable and I don't sit down typically when I film. So I think we're just gonna stay in the, in the jam situation. Now we get to do the, the long process of setting up the camera and the kitchen. to film. I'm Alexis, I'm your host. Great to meet you if this is your first time stopping by. Oh, it's a dead wasp. Ah, oh, how? Okay, so what are we doing today? We are roasting garlic because people do not do this enough. I think if we could, we should roast garlic every single day because it's so good. It goes into your belly in a nice way. It tastes delicious. You can put it in hummuses and soups. You can spread it on toast. It's so good. And I'm just getting over being extremely sick with a yucky virus called the, uh, what's it called? Epstein-Barr virus. So I'm gonna make some roasted garlic because it makes my body feel better. It's a good thing to do when you're sick. And a lot of people like don't really know how to do it. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. Okay, so all you need, tin foil, some kind of oil if you like, a whole head of garlic, and your favorite knife. That's it. First thing you're gonna do is get your beautiful garlic, and you're gonna like, kind of slough off as much of that extra skin as you can, because we don't need it. Okay, so it's not coming off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the top off, then we're gonna slough off the skin because it comes off a bit better. So one note I will say about this is, this stem here can be quite tough sometimes, so don't worry about getting your knife all the way through it. Like, you can just kind of cut around it and I'll show you what that looks like. Great, so I'm just gonna like prop it up with my stump like this, roly, roly, roly. And then rather than cutting all the way through this hard stem, uh, I'm just going to gently put my knife in and then kind of roll it around and just cutting the tips off each of the little garlic cloves 
like so. And then I can just kind of rip that top hat off. And oh, the stem came right off, hooray. Now I've got all the beautiful little heads off. And now you can kind of peel off the extra skin. This skin doesn't want to come off, so we're just gonna leave it on. That's fine. Tin foil. Just a small piece, even half this would be fine. And you're gonna put your garlic right in the middle. And then I like to kind of like make it in a little kind of bed first because when we pour the oil on, it doesn't go everywhere onto your cutting board and floor. So I just kind of pick it up and make it like, just kind of cup it in its little bed area here. Bed. Tin foil bed. There, so it has a bit of a, a cushion. And then we're gonna pour the, t the, the tin foil. We're gonna pour the tin foil. No, we're gonna pour the, pour the oil into the head of garlic so it gets in all of those little nooks and crannies, like chicken wing technique, as always. And just enough that you wanna get it kind of in all the nooks and crannies. You don't have to do too much, maybe like a tablespoon or two just to kind of cover it all up. And then close up your little basket. Zoop, zoop, zoop. And I just do like a nice loose close, so you not like let it breathe, you know? Just a little bit of, we'll get a little air in there. Also, they're doing construction in my neighborhood, so if you hear construction right now, Okay, so once you have your sweet little babes, you can do a couple things. You can put it in the oven at like 400 degrees for like 30, 40 minutes or until it feels nice and soft to the touch. Or, which might be a little bit more energy efficient, you can actually use the barbecue if you're grilling other things or if you wanna do like a couple heads of garlic at a time, which I highly recommend. Pop it on a barbecue that's like medium to high for no joke, 10 minutes, and you're gonna have beautifully roasted garlic. I did it the other week just to try it out and I was like, yeah, it's probably gonna take forever. No, 10 minutes later, I had the most incredible roasted garlic, it was so good. But in my case, I've actually already started roasting two other heads of garlic because I like to conserve space and energy um, and I need it for a bunch of other things I'm making this week for a catering gig and some other things that we're gonna eat at home. 400 degrees and I just go ahead and stick my sweetheart right in on the rack directly and I'll set it for about 40 minutes. I'll see you in a bit once my house starts to smell divine. divine. Oh, hello. I have a sweet baby here. We're going to open her up. I have let this cool for a little bit so it's not gonna like burn everything. Also, the construction is getting really loud right now. So that's just a treat for all of us. Yay. Open up. Oh, so greasy and delicious. Look at this beauty. Squishy and soft and just like, oh. My coffee's still in the microwave. <laughs> Let's get that. So this is my favorite part about roasted garlic. Like you can actually stick it in the fridge after it's cooled and wait to use it until you need to. You can wait a few days, it'll stay great. I'm gonna use this right now because yum and to show you. So I kind of just like peel it apart a little bit with my stumping fingers. It kind of just like falls apart like a little flower. And look, there's one that's already out of its little shell. So there's one little sweet clove. Now the rest, <laughs> I just like to lay them out individually and I squish them out the top that we cut off or the bottom, it'll kind of come out either. But I just, this is my, one of my new favorite stump techniques is the garlic squish. Like, like it's so satisfying, you don't even know. And you know what? I'm just gonna eat one right now because Delish. Mm. Yes, it doesn't have like that pungent garlic bite. It has like a nice, smooth, chill, warm, garlicky flavor. So, so good. Okay, let's uh, let's squeeze out these cloves. beautiful roasted garlic cloves that are like creamy like smooth but light but like feeling fatty from the oil so they like coat your tongue and like garlicky and fresh but like not too potent it's like such a dream I'm going to spread this on a cracker put a little salt on and give it a taste 
All right, here we go. Like it spreads like jam. Like you could just like spread it on toast. Just a little bit of salt. <sighs> All right, before I taste this magic, I just want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to hang out with me. It was so great being with you. And uh, if you haven't already, I'd love it if you subscribe to STEM Kitchen on YouTube. You can also support me on Patreon if you want to. And yeah, just this was such a joy. All right, let's try this. Oh my gosh, this is gonna up my like cooking game parties, like crackers, roasted garlic, a little bit of salt, maybe some like arugula, maybe like a half a cherry tomato, that together. <laughs> I'm so excited. Today I'm probably gonna do some roasted garlic hummus just for the family. And soon I'm gonna do like a roasted garlic uh, spinach and artichoke dip vegan and gluten-free of course i'll show you how i do that let me know if you roast garlic because it's a good time and i love you and we'll see you next time on stuff kitchen bye stop kitchen stop kitchen gluten-free vegan eats stop tastic treats